a ladder. I have everything I need. I shall find a carriage. It appears a new case awaits me, and I am on my way to Dunkenstein, which has become the scene of an atrocious crime. The forests here are dark and deep. I get a chill running down my spine. A moment ago, the coachman told me that there were only a few miles left and we would be there. The main gate is closed. I shall find a different way around. My visions again. I have suffered from visions and premonitions since childhood. Sometimes I see things that seem to be out of our world. But on the other hand, my sensitive abilities have often assisted me in solving cases in which the police have failed.
Baron, this is Detective Patterson. I need to speak to you. Uh, the Baron is obviously enjoying an afternoon siesta. What can I do to wake him up? crack in the planks and snoring. Maybe I could use it to wake the baron somehow. Blazes, it's dripping here again. What? But it's not raining outside. Well, now nothing is stopping me from interrogating him. <laughs> I hope the Baron didn't see me through the ceiling.
Who's there? Ah, it's you, detective. Please, get me out of here. The door locked behind me and I don't have the key to that door. The spare should be somewhere in the basement. Is that you, Warden? Oh, yes. Okay, um, I look for the key.
history of Lipnitz stinks. And unfortunately, everything shows that Sebastian plays an essential role in it all. Maybe he found out about the maid's murder, so he wrote me a letter asking me to solve this case, hoping I will think his weak-minded brother Helmut was the murderer. In any case, the Baron and Warden are no longer suspicious. The forest is ending. Those houses, this is suburb of Munich. In a moment we will pass through the gate to the city itself. My destination is the Schwabing district, where the residence of the Lipnitz brothers is located. I shall continue my investigation there.
I have visited here a few times on different cases, so I know where the Nave Binkenstein apartment is.
Baron, open the door immediately. I know you are there. Who is it? Who are you? What do you want? My name is Coast Patterson, and I'm a detective. Is that so? And what do you want? Could you open the door? I have no reason to. What do you want? Okay, but I have plenty of reasons to go report you to the police for the crimes of murder, criminal association, extortion, and unfair practices in your obscure religion's community. Ah, you. Such useless talk. As if you could threaten me. All I have to do is nod my head and they will destroy you. Understand? Uh, maybe. But before you do, the authorities will receive all the documents I found on the Lipnitz estate that prove your guilt. Don't be ridiculous, man. Those you want to report to me to are my friends. Our order is big and... And also rich. Thanks to your manipulations, right? What was this whole comedy supposed to mean to me? Why did you send me to Rukenstein? It's clear to me. It's because of the Kug Helmet killed. You wanted to bring the poor man to justice to draw attention away from you. But what about Sebastian? You got rid of him after he left you all the money. Because you didn't need him anymore. And you didn't want to risk anything, did you? Ah, detective, you're no longer entertaining me. I don't care what conclusions you made. What if we took him from the other end? The soft business, I could offer you certain benefits. Let's say favors that would make your life less complicated. This would, of course, include a particular regular pension for eternity. And sooner or later, I would end up with a dagger in my back anyway. No, thank you. I shall decline. So what the hell do you want from me? From you? What could I possibly want from you? Don't be naive. Everything in the world is a price. Stay yours here. You know, I've had one stubborn habit since I was a kid. I hate criminals. Now I will block the door to your apartment, go straight to the Elector's Palace, and call Lieutenant Warden, a close friend of mine and a former classmate from school. I will tell him everything and prove my words with the found written evidence. He will send a military unit here with me. And then, I will have the whole house searched from the attic to the basement. While you are taken away in handcuffs, blue blood or no blue blood, everything has its limits. No reason to go to the police. I know very well that you have them under your thumb. You don't dare do that, you shit! I will destroy you! You won't have a snowball's chance in hell! Really? I have some doubts about that. After all, I wonder what the underground exploration will reveal to us about your walks down into the sewers. What can we find there? You? You bitch! How dare you! You? What? Are you out of breath, Baron? Don't worry. They will come for you in an hour. Your time as Grandmaster is over. <laughs> Before I go to Lieutenant Warner, I should bar the door of the Baron's apartment so that the bastard doesn't escape. So, that should be enough. Now the bastard is trapped and nothing is stopping me from coming to Niffenburg for the soldiers. I will have the crack taken away in handcuffs. My friend Waldner will be happy to climb a little higher with the Elector. The worst if perhaps behind me. But still, I shall explore the underground of the Institute. I could find other essential clues there. 
I will not risk the police under Brinkenstein's thumb destroying the evidence against him.
Mario! My name is Uwe Kittel, and I'm one of the journal doctors. I... fell and... Yes, you fell into the elevator shaft, but you'll be fine. I checked all your bones and you probably didn't break anything. You only have some abrasions and bruises. I've already treated you. Oh, well... So... thanks. Detective, he already knows about you. He also knows that you had Birkenstein arrested. Something strange is happening to him lately. He must have gone completely insane. He kills anyone who comes into his hands. Please, detective, go stop him. Who are you talking about? About Penner. Who else would I talk about? Yes, that's why I came here. I want to end all this madness about the order. The notes I found in the mental institution prove Penner's guilt. I will go and stop him. Then, all I have to do is wish you good luck, detective. Thank you, doctor. I will need it. detective is here. What do you want from me, dear friend? You monster. It's all your fault. The murders. Everything. If we fight for a higher goal, small sacrifices are a necessity. Are you ill? I have so much evidence in my hand that I will destroy you with it. You understand? What? Will you destroy me? Let me laugh. <laughs> You know, it's really you who's sick. Don't you remember that you were with me for an examination a year ago? You have premature dementia, my friend. What? What are you saying? I... well... Yes, I remember I... was with you, but... You said the illness is not severe. That despite my hallucinations, I did not lose touch with reality. Shut up, you trickster! Ah, no, 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 no. You're far worse off than you think. Believe me. Shut up, you trickster!
born from our mother's womb, springing and roaring into life. But each one of us has his judgment given in advance. And this judgment draws us to believe in the Lord, dead Son of God, whose name is Christ. Yes, there is only one God, yet Christ is no longer the God. Alexius, Alexius Kellner, is the deputy of God. Through his actions, the freedom and liberty of action, to which every living entity has a sacred right, resound in the word at large. Step in too, you and our crowds, infidels. Leave your destiny, the past, but attire. Think only of your brothers, for here they are filled to bursting. Accept entry into a kingdom where you will find no hunger nor sorrow. Accept entry into mine, mine, abounding in milk and honey, with endless fields of wheat, rice, and sweets. Satisfy yourselves for soul. Live in eternal bliss. against me? But all you say is just your erroneous interpretation of reality. It's all in your head. Investigations, murders, evidence found. Do you even realize where you are now? And what about me? Am I real or just one of your hallucinations? Shut up, damn it! It's not true. I am a detective. Understand? You're more of a defective. You're poor because you can do no more than sneak up on unfaithful spouses thanks to your professional impotence. That's not true. A month ago, I helped the police solve the murder of a baker in Ravensburg. I suppose you might be wrong, my friend. No murder has taken place in Ravensburg for almost a year. It's just another one of your delusions. Shut up, damn it! lost yet. Find that dark feeling in your womb and let it tighten. Wild, roaring joy would gush from your throat. Enter the place with your mind. Forget the world around you and don't accustom yourself to all the falsities that come round and round from endless distances. If you are looking for Eden, you can find it here, in the kidney of the Order of Alexius Kellner. Devote yourself to faith in him. 
see him and honor him as your father. For you are not destined to be a brother, but a free being, one with rights that no one can restrict. Surrender to earthly goods, and in return, indulge your desires and in infinite pleasures. Getting to the finals, my friend. You'd better wake up elsewhere to end this hallucination of yours. But don't worry, I'll take care of you. I will provide you with a beautiful cell in my institute until the end of your days. You can do that, you hear? In a moment, the soldiers from Niffenburg, led by Lieutenant Wardner, will be here. Another delusion of yours. There is no one named Waldner in the Elector's Palace. Don't stop you. You got the Kittle set. You are a dangerous lunatic. Dr. Kittle? Really? Ha 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 ha! He hasn't been with us in months. He went to Augsburg, where he set up a private practice. Enough! Enough! I hate enough! Stop manipulating me! I'm not crazy! Everything is true! Everything is real! Stop it, please! Friend, you need help. And treatment. And do not be afraid. I will take care of you, because I am destined to take care of my loved ones. And then you may also find solace in our order. You will be fine with us. You will see. Not that. No! No! What are you doing there, you bastard? I... I wanted to wait for you to... talk, but the door shut behind me. Seriously? What do we have written here? Combustion chamber, and the lever on the left. Judging by her description, is sure to light the fire, isn't it? Wait, Peterson, don't rush. I... I'm a doctor. I'm a public figure. Pull the lever on the right and let me out. Mm, that's a predicament. Should I kill you? Let you go? And 
and you owe it to Lieutenant Wagner. Wagner is a fool who can't help you. He's only interested in his career, don't you understand? Didn't you say Wagner does not exist? No, no, I did not say anything like that. And you also indicate that you are a hallucination. It's probably time to find out how things are. I'll try to pull the lever to the left. After all, killing a hallucination is not a crime, is it? Stop it, man. Let me out. You wouldn't go through with this. And who will find out that I killed the bastard who turned a mental institution into cash cows? Who established a senseless order to manipulate people, enrich himself at their expense, and abuse them for slave labor in an underground factory? You are a villain. You do not deserve any compassion. Peterson. Please. <laughs> you can't. I don't want to die. I'll do whatever you want. Just don't kill me for God's sake. <laughs> and one more thing. A year ago, when you examined me, you stated that I was suffering from hallucinations, but that I was aware of their nonsense, and I had not lost the ability to have a rational view. And you, you keep trying to convince me that I am crazy. And now, you are crying in front of me like a small child. I feel disgusted. I'm done with you, once and for all. Go to hell. Maybe you will meet your beloved Alexius Kellner there.
get here? Sometimes you have to do things that you don't want to do in your life. But still, you must throw yourself headlong into them. As if there was a driving force in you that forced you to do something beyond yourself. It is a desire for self-realization. Each of you is trying to assert yourself in life. To be a specific being and thus to achieve inner satisfaction. You can't conquer that feeling, and you often have to pass unprecedentedly tricky exits. And so was my case. The desire for justice forced me to fight a heinous evil that had spread like blood death all over Bavaria. Because, as I said, I've had once the bone habits and childhood. I hate criminals. 